All right, all right. Greetings and peace, everyone. My name is Neo, and I'm here to give some info to the people. And it's something to really think about, and also it comes from my own personal research studies of relationships, because that is what I do as a relationship investigative reporter, which what I do is I study and I closely examine relationships. And because there's no schools of for relationships where it actually teaches us relationships. And after me going through a breakup years ago with the woman, I made it made me realize like, hey, I have to do my own studying of relationships. And I've been doing a lot throughout these years studying relationships. You got magazines, there's TV shows, movies, and watching these TV shows and movies, a person must have a certain mindset to be able to peel, to extract all of the uh, relationship information that's put inside the movie. And that's with with a variety of things uh, regarding movies and TV shows. You can pull out a variety of pieces of information regarding that. And, uh, So that's that. So for me, for the past year or so, I've been lightly studying what's been going on with the situation, the condition of single motherhood. And this is what I do. I don't only study relationships, but I also study life and closely examine life and personal development. So for me, one of the most recent things that I've been more and more getting into examining a single motherhood. And I finally realized that this is a condition. It really is a it's a manufactured condition. And I realized it and this is me, I have close close quarters with it because my mother was a single mother. My oldest all of my sisters were single mothers. And once I I studied my family and that was the very first thing that I did starting at 16. So I say I've been studying relationships since I was the age of 16. That was my initial start of it. But then when I turned maybe 24, 24 was probably when I consciously and focused even harder, even more on um, actually studying studying relationships so I first started off studying my family and once I seen the formula as far as my mother my sister my oldest sisters and my my cousins that's when I started to realize started to predict which female was going to be a single mother and once I got that that formula down and I tested it to see if it was true that's when I started to make very, very accurate predictions. And I knew certain family members who didn't have children was going to eventually have children and be a single mother. And studying it over and over again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you the minimum condition that a person must be a part of in order for a woman to be a single mother and then a man to be a one a man who leaves his woman and then leaves her to be a single mother now the formula goes as this and this has been years of testing and really sitting down to think about it so first it starts off with the child going through a one or more tough times experiences during their childhood with their parents and it largely single motherhood largely results from a lack of parenting in general to for me studying this closely examining this i've noticed that two a child can have two parents in the household but if the parents aren't mature parents which very few parents in these days especially are mature because a lot of very few people actually know what maturity is psychological maturity not 
career success, financial success, because society tricks people into believing that financial and career success and immaterial success is maturity. No, those are only aspects that are options of maturity, but psychological maturity first and foremost is the most important. So they can have two parents, but they both can be immature parents who don't fully understand parenting and also the psychology of relationships in childhood, child, child parenting. I mean, uh, child psychology. There's so much into um, so much more into parenting than just having the baby, um, buying clothes for the baby, and which, speaking of buying clothes, a lot of people, especially young teenagers, they think that being parenting is all about buying clothes for, for the baby, just like it's a, a baby doll. If you really pay attention to a lot of these young teenagers, they look at the child as like a baby doll. A live, moving, organic baby doll more than anything else. They don't understand all of the psychological growth that the child must go through and that the parent has to actually provide and assist with the psychological maturity. It's so much more to parenting than most people realize and actually are willing and psychologically equipped to be able to accomplish, to identify and accomplish and execute a plan for the psychological growth of their child. And I realized that by examining my own mother and I came to the conclusion after my analysis that my mother was more of a a uh, provider than a mother because there's different types of, of parenting that all is supposed to be in part of all of one, not just bits and pieces, fragments. Parents nowadays and even years for centuries ago let me see centuries centuries ago have been doing fragmenting parent fragment parenting that in, that includes some parents are providers just providers some of them are just nurturers uh, and providers are the ones that just give you give the child the clothing the food and the shelter but they don't give any other psychological aspects to the child as far as teaching them maturity, teaching them how to behave within relationships and a variety of other things. So nowadays, especially you have fragmented parenting and then the parents, the people before they have children, they don't plan out their potential parenthood. They don't make the time to fully understand as much as possible parenting. And nowadays, there's tons and tons of books. There's videos. You have my videos you can listen to. There's a lot of information nowadays to where there's really, really no excuse for a parent, a person to not have almost flawless parenting nowadays, if not completely flawless, because, you know, we all make mistakes. That's understandable. But I mean, much more superior parenting than the average parent and and a lot of people they fail to actually resolve their unresolved psychological issues and they they fail to actually focus on maturing psychologically to an adequate level there's so many things that that's going on that's causing parents to be what what's for lack of word terrible parents there, there's 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 so many things that's going on and nowadays there's very few um at least decent or good parents because just because the the parent provides clothing and shelter that does not mean that they're a very good parent so there's there's different aspects just like there's different aspects to relationships beyond just um having fun with other people and sharing gifts gifts so excuse me let's go back to what i'm talking about as far as the formula so it's the parenting that is largely the issue regarding what causes women to go into single motherhood and including the with with the child the uh, male child so you don't have a male figure inside the home 
who is a mature male figure who can pass on maturity and who has thought out <clears throat> about what's going on with these teen pregnancies. So if you don't have a strong male figure in the home that is the guiding force, the mature, strong guiding force to guide the family and teach the, the children relationships and what to avoid, then more than likely there's going to be the single, the, the young female running around looking for a father figure who is in the form of a male who to give them love and affection. I've seen this over and over again with my own family and also studying other teenagers and really observing other female teenagers. And that is largely what they want. A lot of parents fail to give the adequate level of love and affection to their children. So the children are going to um, naturally look for it elsewhere, whether it be people of their age or older people and that's how a lot of the older people they prey on the younger teenagers and then they actually get some of the younger teenagers pregnant females pregnant so you have like a teacher you can have like a next door neighbor who is maybe maybe a few years or even 10 or 20 years older and then they because of their natural sexual nature and without their higher consciousness being activated to prevent them from realizing that, hey, this is just a child and I should not have sexual relations with, they end up actually having sexual relations with the younger female or even with the younger male. It, I mean, it's so much chaos going on and a lot of people don't really realize what's going on, but that is largely the cause. That's the formula, the top major base formula there is a lack of strong mature parenting that goes on within the childhood experience of the children the father leaves the mother still has her unresolved issues with her father and she's look seeking love from from this no good man, man who either is still living in the house or is going in and out of the house or is just not there. And she's seeking love and affection from him. And that is largely my situation with my mother years and years ago. She was really madly in love with my father and she will not admit it because of her silly little ego. But me studying and examining my own family, I know that that is what went on with my mother. And my father, he was a very psychologically young man and never grew into the mature man that is necessary to be um, for a wife and children. And me studying him like at the age of 27, when I turned 27, I gave him a call after years of not seeing him because he officially left my life at the age of 16 so i haven't seen him like really a one-on-one -on -one exposure for probably 10 or more years so at the age of 27 i said all right well since he's not going to be the bigger man to give me a call to see how i'm doing i want to go ahead and give him a call on my birthday at the age of 27 and see how we could just catch up with each other i want to hear things from his point of view before that that dinner encounter or engagement i would always hear only my mother's side and of course you know how bitter females are when they don't get their way with with men they turn extremely bitter and they walk around oh all men are dogs and yada 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 and that's exactly how my mother was and just imagine a young male hearing that from a female over and over again and for me, I sit and question, like, how the heck did I get through that experience with my mother, being with my mother and still coming out psychologically strong and stable? And it took me years of self-reflection, self-analysis and self-development, overall personal development to get all of that garbage out of my mind and really focus on myself, developing myself to a mature adult where I have psychological stability and clarity and a whole bunch of other stuff that's necessary for an adult so and i had to actually learn what being a man is on, on my own because nowadays as far as a man and a woman 
society fragments pieces of what a real man and a woman is. A mature, you got to add the mature, psychologically mature man and a woman is. It's very few people who actually understand what a real man and a woman is. These are fragmented, fragments that people understand. So I have a very good, basic, strong conglomerate understanding of it and I'm still learning even more of it but for me studying this and really looking at what's going on a lot of people are still psychologically children regardless of their career status their uh, social status their celebrity status they're still the majority of people are still psychologically children and if you uh, I can literally point out to you the very various aspects of people that are still psychological that causes them to be psychological children starting with the misunderstanding of a person's ego most people don't understand what their ego is and how it's manipulating them throughout their daily life and they don't understand that their higher consciousness has not been activated and that is the reason why they have so much dysfunction within their relationships and their life once I became aware of this within myself and developing myself to a higher level, it became clear to me even more that most people are still psychological children. And that is the cause of a lot of dysfunction and the cause of single motherhood also, because they can't parents can't pass on maturity to their children if they themselves as parents lack maturity. They can't pass that on. So back to what I was saying, the formula. So if the father is not there and providing strong, mature guidance to the children and guiding his own family, then more than likely that young female is going to be a single mother. And that young male, if they do have a son, he's going to run around within completely. Um, what can I say? Ex executing his na natural desires to have sex with a variety of women. One thing that most women and most people fail to realize that we have natural instincts that causes us to do certain certain things and, and to have certain thoughts and certain emotions. Just as animals, you see the male lion, you see the the male dog, you see a lot of males in the animal kingdom going around. Um, having sex with a variety of females of that same species. Now, that's their nature. Nobody sits around and watches and the animal, the animal films and TV shows and say, look at him. He's being a womanizer and yada, yada, yada. And he's just having babies all over the place. No, we just sit there. We look at it and we accept it. Well, us males, we have a animal nature within inside of us that causes us to desire to be with different females and have sex with different females rather than just sticking with one and that is the, those of us males who are heterosexual and who still have our natural DNA the way that it's supposed to be that we have an innate desire to go around with a variety of women and now this is if a male is locked into his his natural instincts without his higher consciousness being activated. Me, my higher consciousness was activated, I would say, largely within my 20s. I would say after 21. And the closer I got to 30, that's when I really became conscious of what's going on and able to control myself and control my decision making rather than just allow my innate instincts to just take over and my ego to just take over. So now for me, after doing years of personal development, I can actually be in a monogamous, monogamous relationship with a woman. However, I sat down and analyzed this with men. And studying cheating and where cheating comes from, what gets what causes that it's largely that most men are still in their natural instincts and allowing their natural instincts to control their decision making rather than actually being conscious and making uh, wise decisions. 
So they just going all willy nilly and they say that they want to be in a monogamous relationship, but the average male is still allowing his natural instincts to take over. And that's why he'll go ahead and find another female and he'll end up having sex with her and cheating. That is largely where cheating comes from. Of course, we have the subliminal mind control with the TV, the movies, the magazines, and especially the music, especially the music, too. That doesn't help at all. Those things does not help at all as far as cheating. So maybe I'll do another recording about that. But I've analyzed and studied the cheating aspect. So for me, after doing that, I'm able to be conscious and control my own desire to go off and be with another female after I even committed to one. Once I commit to one, that really is it. There's no need for me to go anywhere else unless the female actually is not doing her job as a woman, which for me, I studied that also. So I do know what a woman is and the basic needs that a person, a woman no, no, I'm not saying not the basic needs, but the basic uh, characteristics that a woman must have that is within her nature that is in un- unison with the man who is within his own nature and his natural instincts being activated also. So when you bring those two together and also have a higher consciousness activated, then you can have a much more successful relationship than what has been going on within this society, within yeah, relationships within this society. But nowadays you have people who are locked into their their uh, natural instincts. They're being controlled by their instincts and their own ego which the ego is the lower human consciousness and their higher consciousness has not been activated and they lack personal development to increase into a high psychological mature level. So then you have people who are still psychologically teenagers or even younger sometimes teenagers who are doing their best to project a mature adult Projection based off of what society has taught them what maturity is, but in actuality, their behavior does not warrant true maturity. So they're they're really psychological children who are walking around trying to appear as adults. And I'm going to go into another recording. That was my goal, too, is to teach people, explain to people about what's going on, what's been going on for years where... There's people that are jumping too fast into adulthood, trying to appear as adults, running around, uh, going to get a car, getting buying a house way prematurely when they have not done the personal development work to raise their minds to mature adults. And I have family members that's like that. And that's why I'm going to do another recording regarding that. So uh, I did go off of. On the tangent a little bit, let me go back to what I was saying. So the formula is the main formula is if they're overall, if there's not there lacks strong, mature parenting within within a family, then there's a good chance that the, the female is going the single female. I mean, the child female child is going to be a single mother at one point or another within their life. And it's not only that, it's what society, the way that is built, it's not built to, for, to teach and influence people to have strong relationships, strong, lasting, mature, and meaningful relationships. It is built to, and in so many ways, for a woman to be a single mother. And with me studying this and really looking around what's going on, oh, going on and speaking with single mothers up close and personal, I really see that there's always one way or another, the woman is going to be, well, there's more ways than one where the woman becomes a single mother. Even if the the father or whoever dies, he either gets old and dies or he dies in one way or another. Uh, he walks out on her. There's one guy that, I, not one guy, but there's one woman that I spoke to and asking her questions about her, her life and her situation, how she became a single mother. One guy, he he got angry at the, the, 
his 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 wife because of her miscarriage and he really wanted that baby and even though she gave him three sons after that baby he still got angry like years later this is why i tell people psychotherapy of some sort is serious in that very few people actually recover from their tragic experience, the traumatic experiences of their past. They think that because they can walk around with new cars, a new house, new money, and in a career success, that they they uh, recovered from their past. No, uh-uh. a lot of times there's still at least one or more major pieces that you have not recovered from. And it'll show in certain situations. It'll trigger. It'll, it'll trigger. So a lot of people that are still unstable, but they're more un- psychologically unstable than they realize. Um, so, so years later, maybe one or two years later, the guy, he couldn't deal with the miscarriage. So he literally walked out on his wife. Well, I don't know if she was married or not, but he walked out on his woman Leaving her with three young sons. He literally, so they had like some kind of argument or something that reminded him of the miscarriage. And she was, she was distraught of the miscarriage also. So they both, they did not fully recover. So they still was, wasn't functioning properly, but they do what the average person does is allow their ego to convince them that they recovered so they walk around looking for material things or going to get a job rather than actually resolving their psychological issues regardless of how they want to do it rather than um, doing what most people do they sweep it under the rug and say oh I'm fine or they'll just Sit and cry, which crying actually is a good outlet, but you still have to resolve the psychological issue. So it usually when they sweep it under the rug, their psychological issues under the rug, it usually ends up biting them in the ass in one way or another years down the line. And that's what it did with this woman here. So he left. He stormed out of the house, never even speaking with her again, I don't think, and leaving her with three young sons. Which is like the three blind mice. (laughs) That's what reminds me of the song. Three blind mice. Which the three sons, they're young. I think they're under the teenage years. One was like five. And then the other one, I think was like seven. And then ten. So she's raising, trying to raise three blind mice by herself. No male in, 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 no um, adult mature male in the picture. So she's by herself. And she's trying to to run a business by herself and be a single mother. This is why I tell people that being a single mother, there's little to no major benefits at all. And it is a condition. It is a condition that society works consistently to put women in so that that way they can be better controlled because the man and a woman are supposed to become one with each other, and the man is supposed to be the strongest psychologically, if not both psychologically and physically, but at least psychologically. He's supposed to be a strong leader, have strong leadership skills, and he has a, a, an adequate level of intelligence and maturity to be able to lead that family toward wherever it is he's trying to lead them, especially in particular being a strong family and focusing on maturing their their children to a psychological mature adults. These days, very few men actually focus on their personal development and society tricks men to focus more on their career. And then at the same time, the man wants to have a relationship with the woman and then end up having and wants to have a family. But He's doing all of these things prematurely, thinking that just because he has a good career and he has money, that he'll be a good father. No, fellas, especially you young men out there who are single and who want to have the the good career, who wants to have the woman and the family and the cars and the house and the dog. There is a lot more to manhood and also parenting than society shows you. They only show you a lot of, of the 
glitz and glamours and bits and pieces of the the actual parts of those things that you're seeking to embark on but there's a whole domain that if you are not ready to be in it psychologically then you're gonna get bit in the ass majorly and then you're going to be running out of the door just like a lot of men are leaving their women single so overall that's the conclusion that i've gotten from my studies and examinations that being a single mother single motherhood is a condition that is created has been created by the societal system to keep women by themselves and completely vulnerable And me looking at it and knowing how things are supposed to be, I really see how most single mothers are vulnerable. And there's different things that a woman can do to make her less vulnerable, starting with her increasing her psychological maturity and especially intelligence and learning how to protect their children. And not just being a just being a provider, as a lot of single mothers are, where they just provide the food, the shelter, and especially these electronics to the children. Because a lot of single mothers, that's all they do is just buy their their son or their daughter a, a PlayStation, an Xbox, and or one of these smartphones or tablets, and then they just throw it in front of their children and say, "Hey, go over there and and play it." And they don't play, pay no attention to their children and not teaching their children uh, real life skills. So there's a lot that goes on after the condition has been executed when the, the, the woman becomes a single mother. So it's, it's really a, down, a major downside to a woman being a single mother. And no, I'm not um, being negative towards this but this is just me reporting what's going on after my analysis because most people don't actually do studying and analysis of relationships and what's going on in life so I'm one of the ones where that really is my job that's one of the things that I came here to do is to teach people uh, an alternative alternatives to what's going on after I identify what's going on within society with these issues and then I I come to an analysis of what's the best thing to do so that's one report single motherhood is a condition Um, it's a condition that young females or any female can actually protect themselves from from if they really know the ingredients that's causing women to become single mothers and also by choosing better men making better choices on the men that they choose and not just choosing men based off of what society tells them to choose based off of a man having just having a whole bunch of money but psychologically he's not prepared for a committed relationship and regardless of how gorgeous he looks to the woman if he's not psychologically prepared for a relationship a committed relationship then you should not get involved with him in a committed relationship so it's something it's a lot of stuff that people have to really consider and think about but all right that's enough i spoke way more than i expected Please do like, comment, definitely share. And if you would like more information, relationship information, personal development information, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell, the bell icon. Once you do hit that and then you'll get email updates on whenever I update new pieces of information on here. All right. Until next time. Thank you.